What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So gonna clean the truck up, do a little spring cleaning. So uh yeah I'm gonna put it right here in the driveway and we'll get started. So about to do a little cleaning on the truck since it's so nasty. So uh, yeah, let's get the pressure washer out right. Alright guys, got the pressure washer out. So uh let's hook this thing up, get to cleaning, and do a little time lapse. Well, check this out. Phone cannon is broke. Uh, this is like a hundred bucks. What I'm gonna try to do here, maybe take it off. Oh yeah. Very nice. Maybe I can just buy this canister, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, man, it's broke all the way around. Sorry about my dirty hands, guys. <laughs> Just got off work so what i'm going to try to do is i'm going to try to use it anyways i'm going to try to fill it up real quick try to use it if it don't work fine so i'm going to put some uh the washing wax in here put some water in it try it out if it don't work oh well but uh man i love this thing so hopefully it still works enough to where i can at least get another canister canister doesn't really matter so let's try it all right guys, truck's clean. About to have some tire sign on it. So this is some stuff I've used in the past, but uh, just started back with it. s and number one dressing. I don't even know if you guys have ever used s and products or even heard of s and products. But this stuff right here is very, very good. Like it'll shine up damn near anything. All right, guys, I'll give you, give you another look. Man, it just shines it. Woo-hoo! Glossy, thing looks good. Let's go for a little drive. Talk about a little stuff about David driving this thing being lowered. So, take a little drive. 15.2 miles per gallon still. I've got it up to 15.3. That's about as high as I've gotten it. And uh, look, intake's already hot to be not even ran. So, so guys, like I say before. Uh, this truck is about a 3.5, I would say, because, I mean, it did slam the rear a good bit. Maybe maybe four in the rear, but I know it's at least three, three and a half in the front. There's this two-inch drop spindles, and um, the torsion bars were turned a good bit, so it's at least a, it's at least a three and a half drop in the front. So, like I said, I do daily drive this truck every day. Uh, rides really, really good. Did come with shocks in the rear, like I said. Still need to put shocks in the front, but other than that, still pretty good. Running and driving truck, still usable. Like I said, I hauled a pretty heavy trailer yesterday with a panel hitch. And I mean, yes, you can tell it was back there, but it's not like, oh, you can't use the truck anymore. But I mean, still a good running truck. So it's still low enough to where it looks good, but it's not too terribly high. And these are 22s with a 265, 40. So, I mean, not too much tire, but not too much, but not, you know, too little. Like, I don't want a rubber band, but I don't want a big sidewall, but it's perfect sidewall for this thing. This is a pretty curvy road, guys, and uh, not the best road of them all. I mean, handles pretty good still. I mean, it's not a lot of roll like a factory stock height suspension would be. I mean, it's, it feels more planted. Like, it actually handles better in the curves and, you know, it did when it was stock. So, I don't know, guys. I really, I would really have to say that I like it better now, like as far as the way it feels, the way it drives. 
I mean, it feels a lot better now than it did before. I mean, it just feels more planted to the ground. Obviously, it is lower, so the center of gravity is a little bit lower, but I mean, it don't have as much roll, but it still, I mean, it still feels good. The suspension's not stiff. I mean, it's still like, here goes a good spot right here. And that was a good bump. And I mean, you see my hand didn't get tossed around much. I mean, those are some bad bumps. And this, this ride's better than my Charger does, and it's on air ride suspension, and everybody thinks air ride is, you know, rides bad, but really, air ride rides really good. So, I mean, this is actually the bang for the buck. Like I said, this lower kit wasn't like 450 or 500 bucks. So it's not bad at all. And my fuel economy got better once I lowered it. And this also looking at a 35% tent windshield. It's a little bit of a difference. Not too bad. All right, guys. So what you just seen of the truck, that was from several probably about almost two weeks ago now uh, i haven't really been recording much here lately because i've been kind of busy been trying to get st some stuff together figuring out what i'm gonna do about this supercharger and all this so i guess we'll go back out here and talk about it all right so anyways guys uh kids next door are yelling out there having fun so they're gonna be screaming a little bit <laughs> So, anyways, guys, uh, like I said, been trying to get through with Magnuson, try to get a couple things. Uh, I've been working with them. Thanks to Jesse Awuji for helping me out a ton here lately. Uh, so, pretty much trying to get some stuff figured out. Got to get some uh, extension harnesses for the uh, intake air temperature sensor and all that good jazz so working on getting that uh got a guy that's got a set of heads i'm trying to get uh, they got like twenty thousand miles so i'm trying to get them then i'll need to get my headers my long tubes gonna go ahead and get the long tubes and mid pipes then after that it's really just head bolts crank bolt uh i gotta get a couple of things like the pin um uh, the pin kit for the crank i gotta get that then I'm gonna just do some cosmetic stuff while I'm waiting on this. Like I gotta get my chin spoiler fixed. As you can see, it's sagging down right there. Uh, get that fixed. Get a new windshield put in it. Gonna try to find the SRT8 front bumper and hood. And I'm gonna try to get a new trunk. Then, gonna try to get me a center cap. And hopefully, I can get all my little moldings and stuff like that to try to get it back to where it looks somewhat nice. And then maybe one day, probably over the winter, I can get my brother to do the body work on it, probably save up and get the paint, get it painted and have this thing looking pretty much show quality. So it's just gonna take a little time. But right now I'm trying to get the blower and stuff on it. So working on getting the heads, working on getting long tubes then the blower can technically be bolted on but still got to get a fuel pump and all that already got my injectors already in the blower so don't have to really worry about that so pretty much just waiting game trying to see what all i need before i actually order i don't want to buy the wrong thing have to worry about sending it back waiting on shipping you know don't want to go through all that hassle i'm trying to make sure i'm getting the right stuff which i'm pretty sure i am but and money too money's a big thing this is <laughs> not cheap just in heads and headers it's going to be roughly like 14 1500 bucks fuel pump about 100 bucks because well maybe 200 because i think i got to get a new sending unit mine's going bad it's full half full three quarters of the way full quarter it just bounces all over the place so i'm gonna go ahead and get a new sending unit while i'm at it and you know all stuff here and there pin kit thought was going to be you know it's just a pin a drill bit and a bolt with the alignment tool figured she can't be no 50 bucks yeah, it's like 130 140 bucks so yeah <laughs> good times so anyways guys we'll get it done uh better start ordering parts probably this week get a couple things here and there 
I want to try to get my expensive stuff knocked out first. I want to try to get my heads and my headers knocked out first. Maybe I can get them this month, you know, before the month's up, and uh, we'll be good to go. So, anyways, guys, stay tuned. Uh, it's going to be kind of a slow process over a couple months, but uh, I'm not made of money, so <laughs> it's going to take a little while, guys. But uh, it'll be a beast. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. We'll get close to 600 rear wheel horsepower. I'm trying to I'm trying to get some stuff worked out. Maybe I can do a bigger cam, and maybe I can find some ported heads or get my heads ported. That's the plan. We'll see. So anyways, guys, stay tuned, and be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll try to post some videos here and there, especially of the truck. So, anyways, guys, just stay tuned. Peace. <laughs>